How's everybody doing? <laughs> you guys ready to have a wonderful afternoon of music right now? <laughs> All right. Because we don't have a single piece of music that is not wonderful. <laughs> we picked only our most wonderful, just for you. So ladies and gentlemen, as you heard, we are the Academy Blues Project. This is our first song, and it is called A Long Walk for a Short Drink. Between the seventh and stretch and the seven year itch as a seven nation army plays all of the hits. Seventy six drum bones will blow the opening pitch. So, little girl, what brings you to this country of ours? Is your head in the clouds? Is your eyes on the stars as you go for a ride in a new foreign car to tour through the streets till you find the next foreign who just can't stop? Once a taste of two lips, all oh, your friends watch as you eat and pass your hips. Now your family back home tries to get you a grip. They all just wish that you'd a snap out of it and you know, know what you're doing. Can't you see that you're in way above your head? Despite what your mind thinks. What you're saying, yeah, you thought you'd found a friend to learn no hair, I wanted to love the world, for a sure drink, yes, I'm a love the world, for a sure drink, come on. Just to be given the time and you just can't stop Once a taste of your lips or your friends watch as you read and pass your hips Now your family back home tries to get you a grip They all just wish that you'd have snap out of it And you know, know what you're doing Can't you see that you're in? You might think, yeah, you do know. know what you're saying, yeah. You thought you'd found a friend to lend a hand, but it's a love walk for a show. So taste it to lips, all oh, your friends watch as you read and pass your hips. Now your family back home tries to get you a grip. They all just wish that you'd have snap out of it and you know, know what you're doing. Can't you see that you're in way above your head? Despite what you might think, yeah, you know. One, two, three, four.
That's right. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're the Academy Blues Project. We are so, so thrilled to be here playing at the Kennedy Center. So please give a huge round of applause to this theater for hosting us tonight. Kennedy Center, Millennium Stage, because of their generosity, this will be, this set that we are playing right now will be live streamed simultaneously and also preserved for all of eternity on the interwebs. Speaking of preserved for all eternity on the interwebs, if you like that first song that we played, it is available online, and you can listen. There's actually a handout in your little, uh, you know, brochure uh, Playbill. program. Playbill. That's what we're going to call it. In your Playbill, there's a handout which tells you where you can find more of our music. Uh, and without further ado, I'm going to introduce this next song. This is one called It Wasn't a Woman, and it's about taking responsibility for things that are your fault and not passing the blame to someone else.
They say women are from Venus, men are from Mars. I don't understand why these have to be such cold and distant stars. Why can't we better navigate this cosmic gap from birth? Set aside our differences and come back down to earth. But you know, lately I realize I may never understand why each giant leap for mankind means a step backwards for women. And every time I think I find a new lady friend, the light of Venus comes between us, and I'm halfway to Mars again. me. You cannot blame their kind for every problem that you see. You was no woman, so go accuse someone else, because no woman could make me do this to myself. Here I find myself lying helpless in the street. My other half has made it clear it is not wise for us to meet. You see, I don't want nobody, no, I don't even want no mind. I just like a chance to walk out with her kind. You see, men have our shortcomings, but at least we're always blunt. The kind of friend polite enough to only stab you in the front. But now I know how King Kong felt twas not beauty killed the beast. But the love of a woman that convinced him to take the lead. He convinced him to take the lead. And it was no one that did this to me. You cannot blame for every problem that you see It was no one To go accuse someone else Because no one Could make me do this Do what see Trevor Brown on the bass Thank you. Now, I saw some people dancing before. How about we see some people dancing again? You were still living at home, 
the bus in every morning, waking hours before dawn. Still a paralegal, that big midtown law firm. I never figured you as a girl, so content to reach your turn. Now all that you seek is profit. That's what I call a loss. How can you value this friendship? When you don't understand its core, she knows that she could help you feel stronger. But I cannot understand why you see me as a friend. Just can't take it any longer. She knows I wasn't so tired. But I hope. Covers every word you speak. I used to try to get beneath it. Now you just put me to sleep. Trying to make you feel it's like a never-ending race. To you, I'll always be that horse that never left the gate. But no, no, you're not the same girl, and it's such a shame, girl. But I cannot say that it is a surprise. Glad you could look yourself in the mirror. Why can't you look me in? Thank you so much. That last tune was called Chance Encounter. All right, so coming up next, we have some of my personal favorite songs of the set. Uh, this next one's called Continental Breakfast in Cleveland, and uh, it's about a continental breakfast I had once in the city of Cleveland, Ohio. I sincerely hope that, unlike that continental breakfast, this song is not quite so underwhelming. And then after that, we're going to do a song about uh, the timekeeper. Timekeeper was a public figure uh, 
at uh, the school where we all went. And he was a guy who used to stand and announce the time left until the classes. You know, the, the catch was he wasn't an employee of the university. He was just a random guy who would stand on campus and scream out, 10 minutes till classes. Uh, so this is a, that, that would be a song about him and we hope you enjoy it. It's called The Timekeeper Parts 1 and 2. Uh, we went to school at uh, NYU, New York University. We're also from New York. Yes, we're from New York. And we're super excited to be here in Washington, D.C. <laughs> this is a real, real, real stepping out party for us because I don't think we've ever played in a room this beautiful. I mean, hell, the places we've or played... Red. I mean, the places we've played haven't even been as nice as the bathroom at this place. This place is absolutely top tier. So we are very appreciative for them inviting us and having us here to the Millennium Stage. So, without further ado, here is Continental Breakfast in Cleveland.
John Bought a head of a feather Keeping watch With a few on his arm First to call out Ten minutes Two classes And if you're late To sound the alarm Always watching The clock in the traffic Those who were lost Might still find their way The keys he lived To give you the hour You would not give In the time Noticed in a watch advertisement every time piece had 1010 on display. Be it coincidence, Masonic symbol, or perhaps just a trick of the trade. A trick of the Star to inquire within was every clock I see in the paper always set to ten after ten. The owner was happy to answer his question. See the V shape formed by the two hands that serves to highlight the name of the maker. Is that so hard? Watches reach four or fifteen, and the owner said, Sir, the time is a quarter after four.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I could tell you that I miss you, but you've heard that song before. I could tell you come back home, but you've already closed that door. I could tell you how it feels to be on my own again. I would say it feels the same, oh, but this time it's different. Ooh, this time it's different. I could tell you it was my fault that you was right and I was wrong. I could tell you how I kick myself for writing you into a song. I could tell you how it feels to be on my own again. I would say it feels the same. Oh, but this time I'm different. Ooh, darling, this time I'm different. In other words, don't tell me it meant nothing or that you never cared. But neither you nor I can define exactly what we share. And if we just can't apply any language that we've learned to help us understand something we never even heard, well, then I guess I'll call it love, for you made me hate that word. I guess I'll call it love, for you made me hate that say it first I could tell I moved too quickly and did not prepare for the worst I could tell I was impatient every step of the way now I could tell that sometimes there is nothing one can say ooh darling nothing one can say I could tell the distance cost us everything we do I could see I sabotaged us by insisting you could learn. I could tell I was impatient every step of the way. Now I could tell that sometimes there is nothing I can say. Ooh, darling, nothing I can say. In other words. Don't tell me it's been nothing Or that you never cared When neither you nor I Can define exactly what we share And if we just can't apply Any language that we've learned To help us understand Something we never even heard Well then I guess I'll call it love Though you made me hate that word I guess I'll call it love so you made me hate that. Yes, at least there's always hope we can learn to love that.
Thank you. That one was called In Other Words. That's another one of those songs that you can find on the interwebs. So check it out. Um, once again, we're the Academy Blues Project. Super stoked to be here tonight. We have a couple more tunes for you. This next one, our excellent drummer, Jim Bloom, is going to count us off for. I decided to have a drink first. Was it a long walk? <laughs> a long walk for a short drink, indeed. All right. Without further ado, the one, the only, Jim Bloom.
Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been such a great audience tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. We're not done yet, but before we go one step further, I wanted to take a moment to introduce the fantastic band up on this stage. Present company included. I don't want that to sound self-serving. Mainly talking about these guys. Number one, on the drums, the one, the only, Jim Bloom, all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. On the low end, the bass that is, we have Trevor Brown, all the way from Seattle, Washington. On the keys, from Nashville, Tennessee, Ben Easton. And from Park Ridge, New Jersey, my name is Mark Levy. Please, you're too kind. Together we are the Academy Blues Project, and uh, this next song that we're gonna do is a very special song. It's one of the most personal songs I've ever written. You could tell that because it has my own name in it. And uh, it is going to be dedicated to all the people who are in town this weekend for uh, the People's Climate March. Uh, we know that uh, we are going to be showing up tomorrow to that march. We're super stoked about it. Um, in all honesty, we only have one planet, and it's about time we start coming out, showing up in droves, and uh, really stating our case, because we only have one planet. And uh, this song is about that. And uh, it's paraphrased from a conversation that I had with a bird this one time, so. flooded down to me the other day having nothing better to do I figured I'd hear what he had to say well he landed on my windowsill and to my surprise his beak began to speak and he looked me in the eyes and wouldn't you know it this is what he said he said to translate he said mark levy what on earth have you been doing stop pissing away everything we've worked so hard for i said hang on a second birdie you think you know me all so well he said keep your mouth shut mark i've got a story to tell you see i flew into a spider's home just the other day the beautiful web he was spinning well it was left in disarray but you see mark i know what it's like to have trauma in my life i used to have a beautiful bird house two kids and a wife until one day a human hand came into our nest and i had to abandon my family though they were all i had left i said hang on a second birdie i do not understand why would you abandon your family just because they were touched by man he said mark the smell of man is putrid at best and i I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, that's right. I, the little bird, I'm gonna tell you the big human why. The human stink is unmistakable. It's the smell of fire in the automobile. It's the smell of machine guns and the atom bomb. It's the smell of cages and burning napalm. Oh, it smells of greed and hatred and fear. I just can't escape it. It flies for the south every year. It's a Pandora's box of old factory hell. And I'm tired of living downwind of that smell. So, Mark, 
Levy, what on earth have you been doing? Stop pissing away everything we've worked so hard for. lying, dying on the side of the road, spilling his life out onto the curb. Such a tragedy for me to see a human life cut off so short, when all he wanted to do was merge. You see, Mark, it isn't just man's disrespect for his mother earth. No, it's man's inhumanity to man. That's what really hurts. But it's a plague that can be erased with every new birth. So, Mark, why are you wasting your time talking to a bird? Come to think of it, why am I wasting my time talking to a bird? And with that, the little birdie, well, he just flew away, leaving Mark Levy alone to gather his thoughts. But I was happy to see him flutter on back later that year. I called him over, and this is what I said. I said, hey, birdie, how on earth have you been doing? Well, it's so good to see your smiling face once more but at that precise moment an owl perched up in a tree came swooping down ever so gracefully he ate my friend in one large bite right there on the spot and i just stood and watched in shock yes i know ladies and gentlemen that was not the ending i expected either but the moral of the story is that ultimately Though you and I all know how cruel nature can seem, we humans should do our best to add a little civility and make this world the best one it can be. That's right. You gotta make the world the best one it can be. Gotta make the world the best one it can be. So Mark, leave me what on earth have you been doing? Your whole life paid out an escrow. 
You thought you knew her, what did you know? Oh, there wasn't buried in the sand. No ship shall be saved. Need the crest of this mind to end. As the water claims everywhere. Everywhere to run the scales of justice are bent at the full crow. Now the sent to a war trick wave oh, rise again as their song is played, crying nearer my God to thee. Their two souls lost Eden. Endless
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Academy Blues Project. You've been a great audience. Good night. Come find us at the merch table at the back. <laughs>